Earlier videos in this series showed how to translate layouts from Cadence, Altium, and Metagraphics to ANSYS. We'll now show how to translate layout geometry from Zucan to ANSYS. Zucan CR8000 is a PCB design suite featuring a number of tools. For this demo, we're concerned with CR8000 Design Force. It's a popular tool for chip package board design and analysis. One of its key features is the enhanced ANSYS support for exporting layouts to the ANSYS Neutral File, or ANF format, and to the ANSYS Electronics Database, or EDB format. Zucan has created these ANSYS menu items in CR8000 Design Force to facilitate translation of ECAT geometries to ANSYS. This is Design Force 2017. To open an existing layout, click the file menu and go to Open. You can open a design data file, a design rule library file, or a technology library file. I'll select a design data file. I'll navigate to my layout file with the extension .dsgn and press Open. Design Force opens the board and displays it in the top-down view. I also have the same ECAD geometry in its older .pcb file format. Design Force CR8000 has an option called Open with Convert that can read in older files from Zucan CR5000. From the View tab, click Tile to see the windows side by side. Close one of them. The hotkey F9 lets you switch between the 2D and 3D views. Press the 3D View option. Under Preset View, select Isometric. Use the Pan option and the coordinates to maneuver the board and adjust its view. Under the Home tab, press the Rule Editor option. The Rule Editor dialog displays all the layers on this board. Resist A and Resist B are special layers used for assigning solder resist data on the top and bottom sides of the PCB. Aside from Resist A and Resist B, this board has 15 electrical layers. Eight of them are conductors and seven of them are dielectric layers. Conductors 4 and 5 are 18 microns thick. All the other conductive layers are 20 microns thick. You can see the dielectric layers are all 0.2 millimeters thick. All the metal layers are assigned copper. Of the seven dielectric layers, two are assigned FR4, while the remaining five are assigned the material ABF. Close this dialog now. The 3D Technology Edit option under Technology Editor dynamically generates an exploded view of the printed circuit board and displays all the signal layers with their thicknesses and attributes. Press this option again to return to the isometric view. Go to the Analysis tab. There are multiple functions under the ANSYS option. You can either export this PCB to an ANF file or to an ANSYS EDB file. You can also import ANSYS EDB files into Zucan. First, we'll show the ANF flow. Press Export ANF. This opens the Export ANF dialog. Expand Specify Output Signals and toggle the button to the On state. Choose the nets you want to export. We'll hit All to select all the nets. Press the arrow to include the signals. Click this ellipsis to specify the location and the name of the ANF file. Press the Execute button to start translating. After translation, Design Force generates a dialog with a list of the layers that were generated. You can see that all the electrical layers were exported. Observe that Design Force did not generate the Resist A and Resist B layers, so these layers are not in the ANF file. Close this dialog. Press Exit. Zucan Design Force CR8000 generates the ANF and the CMP files in the specified location. The ANF file contains the layout geometry, and the CMP file contains the electrical properties of the passive components, such as resistors, inductors, and capacitors. We'll now import these ANF and CMP files into SIWAVE. When you launch SIWAVE, it presents a welcome wizard, which facilitates importing ECAT designs from popular third-party vendors. We'll import the ANF file. Select the ANF file and press Open. The Select Nets to Import dialog appears. The net selection can also be performed here instead of within Zucan. We'll select all the nets. Press the Import Configuration button. The translator extracts the list of nets and the PCB appears in SIWAVE along with the workflow wizard. On this wizard, press Import Component File. Select the component file and click Open. The Component Import Overwrite dialog appears. The CMP file contains the correct properties of all the passive RLC components on this board, so press Yes to All. All the resistors, inductors, and capacitors are now imported with their correct values. 
step through the various resistors to see their values are correct. This is also true for the inductors and capacitors. This concludes this demonstration. In the next part, we'll compare the layer stack up information between design force and SI wave.